Hello guys and uh, welcome back. I know I've been uh, procrastinating and creating this video. I am offline stud. Uh, I'll be uh, going through some tutorials, or not necessarily tutorials, but explanations and how I'm going to use machine language for some of the projects that I'm doing. <clears throat> and I hope that by going through this it might inspire you to create your own projects and help you in creating your own machine learning or AI adventures. So what I have here is uh, when I first started this I actually used Ed's uh, electronics uh, tutorial to learn how to use TensorFlow framework as the machine learning language uh, application and he actually uh, used another uh, individual's tutorial uh, but he actually created somehow of a port into uh, Windows. I am mostly a Windows uh, guy and this particular uh, tutorial explains how to do this object detection using Windows 10. Now on his tutorial here uh, I'll leave a link in the um, on the description, um, he goes and talks about what you need, how to install um, Python. Python is the scripting language uh, native to TensorFlow. Uh, in this particular tutorial here, on its current format, he uses TensorFlow GPU. Uh, but you could also use TensorFlow in a CPU just in case you don't have a graphics uh, power unit. Uh, that's pretty much another way of saying video card. TensorFlow uses the graphics guard to process uh, uh, iterations and training and uh, it helps alleviate uh, your CPU and all the heavy lifting is done by the graphics card. Those graphics cards tend to be pretty expensive so again if you don't have a GPU you still can run a CPU but it's going to take even longer uh, because of the way the object detection classifier works. Um, so it's a lot of data to process, a lot of a lot of, uh, of training to that happens. Um, for example, I can give you by my own experience uh, when I use TensorFlow CPU, it took me using these uh, let's say about 300 worth of images. It took about seven days to do the recommended iterations of 200,000 steps. Uh, again, it took me seven days. But when I use a GPU version of TensorFlow. Um, and my, of my GPU was uh, NVIDIA uh, 1050i. Uh, it took roughly about 10 hours of processing uh, the whole 200,000 st uh, steps of iterations for training. So that gives you rough estimate of what the capabilities. Now there is some uh, model trainings that use TPUs, which is a TensorFlow process units, and those are specific to Google. Uh, and you have to have some kind of Google account uh, in the cloud to be able to use those. And you, I don't believe you can buy those off the shelf and put it in your CPU. So uh, be ready to pay for money for that. So, but anyways, uh, so on this back to this tutorial, um, when I started this last year, uh, I went through his entire tutorial. Uh, it explains how to use it. And I also went to TensorFlow's you know, videos and tutorials of what they have and talking about the TensorFlow what machine learning was all about, fell asleep a couple of times and I just focused primarily on TensorFlow's inputs and what was the expected output uh, so I can move on with application development. I am not a scientist, I'm not a data analyst, I don't do none of those functions so I'm dependent that these models are created with the expectations that uh, what they say the output should be is what I'm going to use. Whatever inputs are required to have for it to work, I'll supply so I can get that output and continue on with the, the application development. So uh, this is one of those tutorials that explains how to set up TensorFlow, how to get one of the existing training models that already pre-exist in the models uh, libraries. Uh, you can use whichever one you want um, and then you just configure it and give it the inputs, images, labeling as such and then you get an output which is the train data set. 
So <clears throat> he does have a YouTube video and explaining all this. Uh, I don't know how up to date it is. Uh, I, I, I read here that you know he's pretty much using TensorFlow version 1.10. When I went through the original tutorial, it was actually TensorFlow version 1.5. So there's been several releases and he's been updating his uh, tutorial. So um, again, I'm going to be using this format. Um, and when I talk through this, it's going to be in a Windows 10 environment. So if you want to uh, tag along and have an understanding of what I'm building, uh, you can follow this tutorial. So. These are his steps. Steps one, he talks about installing TensorFlow GPU, setting up the detection models, where to get it. Uh, I do not use on the Conda virtual environment. I use this straight from the command line. I don't need to build in virtual environment since I'm using it on my own personal computer. But if you're in a corporate or you're in an environment where you have multiple users, you may want to consider building a virtual environment for yours. Um, and then of course I'm going to do the gathering and labels of pictures um, and generating the training data, creating the label maps and configuring training, start the training, uh, exploring the inference uh, graph. Uh, that's the uh, the meat of or the end goal of this whole entire exercise uh, because we'll be using that data in our application later on. And of course testing and using your newly trained object detector here. So. Uh, again, I'll, I'll set up the link. Um, you guys, if when you have time, you can review. There's this document here, this web page that explains it in details. He has a he has a video. Visit his his channel, his YouTube channel. Take a look at it. He re back references the original creator. I think it's Mark J. Uh, if you want to look at uh, a Unix or or Linux variation of um, TensorFlow using TensorFlow, TensorFlow is. Linux based or Unix based type uh, format and it gets ported over to Windows. Uh, TensorFlow website is a tons of information. TensorFlow website, if you want to do other than object detections, you want to do other machine learning. I just never explore beyond object detection. So <clears throat> there might be other people that have better answers than me. Um, so, anyways, I just wanted to bring this up. Um, I'm going to also later on, maybe this week, I'll identify the projects. I am doing a lot of data collection currently with web crawlers. I'm building a search engine for the project that I'm working on. But I will be uh, letting you guys know that the materials uh, that I do capture from those web crawlers is what I'm going to use for researching and establishing my machine learning data from. So stay tuned. Come back. Uh, uh, as I publish these videos and I hope they are informative if you need more additional details I'll let you know uh, later on what my intent of building or the application that I'll be building will be focused on the actual framework what is targeting and I have three projects that I'll be working on that will be using machine learning I might, depending on interest, I might focus on one more so than the others, but they all will have this basic build to them where I'm actually doing image and object detection uh, recognition. So, again, uh, any questions, concerns on this, um, just, uh, just visit my website. I'm going to include my website that have my blog, my running blog. Uh, if I have time, I'll reach out to you guys and reply as soon as I can. So I'll, re I'll repost this video on my blog. Comment there. Do not comment on YouTube. If you want to, you can comment. I'm not going to close comments there. But most likely, I'll be on my blog. I'll be replying with you guys back on my blog website, not on the YouTube website. So thank you so much.